Okay, here's my tier list for the legendary relics in Omni Heroes. And this is just my personal opinion. So feel free to agree or disagree because I don't have strong opinion on ranking these relics. But you notice there are these numbers beside some of these relics. And that's these numbers are minimum star level for the relics to be good. So so these are the legendary relics. I also have a tier list on the non-legendary relics that are epic and the rare relics. So the reason some of the legendary relics has numbers besides them is because legendary relics are harder to get than the epic relics. So there's a minimum star level for the legendary relic to be better than their epic counterpart. For example, let's take a look at the relic Tempest Hammer. So at one star, all it does is deal some damage to one random enemy and stun it for one run. And the other effect is the stun effect caused by Tempest Hammer has a 50% chance to be extended by one round. So this is very interesting. Let's compare this to another Doomsday Relic. So because this relic is an ethereal and Doomsday Relic. So let's compare it to the epic counterpart. So this relic, it has a chance to stun its target. So it also targets one enemy and it has a chance to stun it for three rounds and it's a 100% chance. So that means at one star, the Tempest Hammer at one star is worse than the Doomsday Epic Relic. So it's not worth it. It's, this relic is not good at one star. However, after you upgrade it to three star and the Tempest Hammer will attack two enemies. And this is better now because now it can stun two enemies and there's a chance that you stun them for two rounds. So that's why I say the Tempest Hammer is good only after three star. S same with this relic. So at one star, all this relic does is silence, has a 50% chance to sil silence one enemy. And that's really not that great. And it's, in my opinion, worse than this relic. Even though, this, so this relic, it will deal an AOE damage on combat star and it also had the same way of gaining energy as the Leviathan. And for the ethereal one, the Excalibur is better than a one star Tempest Hammer. And this relic is actually really good for ethereals because it gains energy every time your ethereal units crit. And if you have some units that can launch multiple attacks like Eudora and Dorabella, you will gain a lot of energy with Chaotic Eyes. So yeah, that's these numbers besides the relics. So it's the minimum star level where the relics are good. So if you, are, you don't plan to get these relics to these star level, then it's not worth it. Is is not worth it to have a one star hammer or one star Leviathan or one star plague bow, is in my opinion. Okay, so that's it. That's for the numbers beside the relics. Another thing I want to talk about is also related to star level is actually the spike of each relic. So what I mean by that is all relics spike at even star level. So let's take a look at this one star relic. So the ju judgment blade, when you level it from one star to two star, you get these stats. But as you can see here, you don't get any percentage stat bonus from one star to two star. 
Now, if you look at a two-star relic like this one, if you upgrade it to from two star to three star, then you will get a three percent like percentage bonus on attack, HP, and defense. And as we know, the percentage bonus is always better than the flat bonus because it scales multiplicatively with the flat stats that you already have, and it also grants flat stats as well. So from 2 star to 3 star is more impactful than from 2 star to from 1 star to 2 star and this applies to all relics so if you are upgrading relics like be sure to know that and the same with like from 3 star to 4 star is not that impactful so this one it only unlock like it only upgrade the damage skill which is the most useless skill in for the Tempest Hammer, and it also doesn't grant any percentage stats. But if it's from four star to to five star, then it grants some percentage stats, and it will unlock more skills. I don't have any four star uh, relics, unfortunately, so I can't show you. But I do have a six star relic, and this one, if I get it to this is seven star. I will unlock another skill, like I will upgrade the skill from to st from level one to level two, and it will grant me bonus lead rate, and I also can gain some, like uh, I will also gain some percentage stat bonus. Another thing that's really important about relic is relic synergy. So as you can see, I also made a small tier list about Relic Synergy. And note that Relic Synergy only activate if you have the normal Synergy activate at three piece. So in order to activate the Glory and Relic Synergy, you need to have two or three Glory and Relic, but also you need to have three Glory and Heroes deployed. When you're deploying relic, so it's recommended that you have a recovery relic on slot one. And that is true. In fact, even if your recovery relic is only rare, it's only purple, you should still deploy a recovery relic on slot one because it will help you generate energy. And if you have energy, you will cast the other relics sooner. I see some players will deploy their relics like this. So they think epic is better than rare. And so yellow is better than purple. So they deploy their relics like this. And this is wrong because despite you deploy three relatively more powerful relics, you won't cast them because you don't have enough energy. So instead, you should always have a recovery relic even if they are just purple so you have this one right here and ideally on second slot it should be a burst relic and on the fourth slot there should be a chrono relic so burst relic is the re type of relic that's the most powerful so like chaos blade it will grant holy shield to your whole team and the Chrono Relic, they will reset the CD of all the other relics. And so this is a cycle. So, so the Healing Vast will generate energy. So after casting Healing Vast gains 60 energy. And when you get energy and you can cast this one, the Blade of Chaos. And after this, you will reset the CD of these two with the Hand of Tar, the Chrono Relic. So th these two relic, their CD is five rounds, but for your Chrono Relic, they can reset the CD so you immediately go back to Healing Vast and repeat the cycle again. And the CD of this one is actually three rounds, so it will repeat the cycle every three rounds. So this is ide the ideal situation. Now, if you are a new player, sometimes you don't have enough Chrono Relic, then 
there's two options. One is you have one regeneration relic, uh, recovery relic, and another burst relic, and then the other burst relic. So this is, so you have two burst relic, and when you, you will get some energy and it will help you cast the second relic, and then you will slowly build up your energy towards your third burst relic. Another option is you have two of your energy relic on the first two slot and a burst relic on the last slot. So this is a so th this is an interesting combo that one you are seeing because your healing mass will cast on before the match start and it will give you 60 energy and this one will reduce the energy cost of your next relic by 60%. So these two will instantly cast and you get a and your blade of chaos will cast before the game start and your team will gain holy shield and that's a nice way to counter some of the powerful enemies that can deal a lot of damage on round one 